Okay, Robert, start off by telling us what the uh, worldwide economic slump has done to the relevance of bodies like the World Economic Forum. It seems to have increased it. I mean, we've had more interest and more engagement in the forum in the last 12 months than at any point in our history. And, and the simple reason is when the world's in danger of coming apart, people need to come together. And the role of the forum, which is to bring together different countries and different groups from society in each country together, has probably been more important now than ever. And India currently has several issues that are hindering its engagement with the wider world, including nuclear energy and climate change. How does a body like the WEF help India? Well, I mean, our role is really to bring together diverse perspectives on common issues. So we've actually been involved with India for over 25 years now in two ways. In the past, a lot of it was to bring different perspectives and often different uh, corporations into India to understand, particularly during India's opening up, what the opportunities were here. And there was a conveyor belt, in a sense, coming in. Now the transmission belt is going the other way. I mean, what we're involved in now is actually helping work with, Canada, er, with, with Indian corporations and with Indian policymakers and intellectuals to ensure that India's ideas are also being reflected abroad. So a few years ago, we did a, a global series with Indian government and business on the new India around 2004, 2006. And we actually see now with India taking a real leadership role with the G20, an opportunity for us to also assist in ensuring Indian voices are heard on a global basis. Okay, and how does the, uh, how does the WEF need to keep changing its priorities as power equations in the world change and, and new economies emerge? Well, our, our mission is to improve the state of the world. And so to do that, we try to make sure we reflect what the state of the world is. So uh, Klaus Schwab was very engaged in China right after 79. We've been involved in, in India for decades as well. And what we're doing now is making sure that we actually have global voices on some of the global issues coming out of the crisis. So we've actually set up a series of global agenda councils with representation from around the world on issues like food security or financial uh, regulation or other issues to in ensure that we actually have global perspectives on the global issues. And we'll continue to adjust our perspectives to ensure they meet the needs of the time. So this is the last day of the World Economic Forum in India. What are some outcomes you're both pleased with and displeased with? Well, I think one of the things that people are, are uh, very excited by is the degree of confidence in India today, both at the policymakers and in the private sector. Compared to a year ago, the sense of economic optimism, the sense of political stability and direction is, is very positive. I think where there's still some questions is, after years of asking for a seat at the table, now that India has a seat at the table, in the G20, in other areas, what will India be doing with that? Will it be doing it to say no more loudly to things it disagrees with? Or will it be using it to actually propose new creative solutions itself, actually to, to help uh, the world as a whole come to, to deal with issues such as nuclear proliferation, such as climate change, and such as new, uh, new economic orders? And so I think some of those are still question marks, uh, but I think people will come away from this generally with a very strong and positive sense of what India is doing.